<laughs> Sam says, hey, Miran, how, do, how to forget everything and move on? Sleep. Because <laughs> when you sleep, <laughs> you naturally forget everything and you'll move on and you'll wake up with wonderful energy. Why do you have to forget anything? Why? Why do you think problem is in remembering things? Why do you think the wonderful ability that we human beings have as a recording machine to use all the experiences and good or bad in order to help us to propel and avoid other dangers, other situations and circumstances that we wouldn't want it to end up the way it once did? Why is, it that, is that bad? The fact is that every time that you remember something, especially if we're talking about your relationship things, that you also bring with it, with the memories, the pictorial memories of the lovey doveys and good stuff that you had and experiences and the, the pleasurable moments and all that, with it comes the emotions of those experiences. With it, comes all the prerequisites for steps needs needed to be taken for, for desire to be born. So although you're not going through the same steps and recreating the steps necessary for desire to be born for that girl or whatever your relationship is, but because you once did have those steps fulfilled and desire did go through this process and was born, because all the elements that needed for desire to be formed and born was there. And because all that is already available in your memory, when you think about your girlfriend or your ex, all those emotions and all those steps, emotions of having gone through the steps for desire to take place also comes along with the pictorial memories, with the memory of the girlfriend. And when it does, you feel the emotions of those, the, included in those memories right now, which once you felt, because when you remember, a, when, a, when an emotional file comes up to the forefront of your, your mind, you also react to it emotionally. And then you feel that whatever it is you feel is happening now. And when you think it's happening now because the emotion file has come up and you feel the same emotion you did once when it actually originally was being made, then you feel as if it's all refreshed and it's happening now, then you react to it now, which is desire is born again. And that's why the, you think uh, the, the problem exists. But it's not the memory. But once that memory takes place, and while the emotional files come with the pictorials and the lovey-dovey memories of it, you need to also add another file which exists in the same batch. And that's the file of the problems. The things that went wrong, the things that were not right with that relationship, the problems and challenges, the things that were not palatable, things that was not up to your standards, things that you guys did not like. But human being usually doesn't bring those up because he has a tendency and ability to forget those or put them in the uh, further down in the filing cabinet. But if you command it, whenever those other kind of uh, uh, memories are coming to forefront of your head, the pictorials of the good memories and the emotional files that uh, helps the um, um, uh, desire to be created, also bring the bad file, the files that was the trouble in the relationship. Remember the things that you didn't like about each other, the problems that were arising, all those things. Then you'll have a complete picture. And then the memory would just be something came and gone. Because it will take place in a very quick moment. It's not like it'll take time to bring all this. No, mind is really fast. You know that. So as soon as you command it, you will recognize the whole picture and say, okay, it was fine. It was okay, pleasurable and sex and intimacy and lovey-dovey and all. But also, this is why we broke up. This is the stuff I didn't like. Now then, you bring your focus to the part that you didn't like. All of that takes part in one or two seconds. And then, you're free. So the memory is not the problem. How you use the memory 
and you how you interpret the memory how you don't bring the whole file of the memory of something that is pleasurable and it's broken up that's when you feel oh i wish i didn't remember that no it's not about the memory it's about how you entertain the memory and how you perceive it uh, and interpret it and let it to be incomplete bring the whole memory so yeah you want to remember that okay let's remember the shitty stuff too and then quickly it balances out and the memory goes back to its filing cabinet hmm? and then you will move on to focus on the now and realize that this is the reality what is happening what are you going to be in the memory you think about memory is a waste of your life because you neither can modify it fix it change it all it does you will just selectively have the, the fun stuff and you're gonna be suffer suffering for it because you want that fun stuff complete memory bring it the whole information you will not miss it and you will know why you should miss it and then you go on and focus on your life build your life and understand that it's going to be a lot more wonderful things it's going to come to you and perhaps this was the reason that you can get all to all those wonderful things because unless you leave this place you cannot be arriving to a different place unless you leave this place you cannot be arriving to a new destination a new place unless you move on from whatever it was, you cannot find a new and a better a deserving relationship that you would definitely want, but you're not aware of it. So leaving something is not always bad. It's beginning of getting the opportunity to see other uh, uh, possibilities present themselves. So on that note, memory is inconsequential in such cases. Let's move on to the next. Okay, how much time do you have? Uh, okay, I gotta be quick. That was for Sam. <laughs>